gap and they're like, why couldn't we get this at, at our meets now that it's the end of April? I know. I, when I lived out in California, that was always the appeal. You talk to people on the Midwest or the East Coast, they're like, weather is just terrible. And I'm like, well, I'm out here being absolutely killed on this track by Bobby because we have great weather and that's the appeal. You're able to get in more training days, not having to deal with that much weather. And like you said lately, these athletes are like, what am I here for spending all this money in California if I can't be outside training? And so that's something that's definitely been a topic of conversation. Boys 100 invitation already there on the start line. Meet record 1027 by a guy who normally runs the 400 now as a pro. Michael Norman has that time from Vista Marietta back in 2016. So again, you, so, someone like, I guess, like a Fred Curley who has transitioned from the 400 to the 100. We're seeing a guy like Michael Norman, I guess, the 100 to the 400. Yeah, right. And it's funny because people don't see it that way. They're kind of like, oh, yeah, you know, he's a 400. It's like, uh, check out some of these records from when he was in high school. Absolutely smoking. So, I mean, to me, it really, the world is it's, it's up to him. The world is his. Like, what do you want to do? But 10-2, as we all know, once you step to that next level, it's not as impressive and it's not going to get you onto a team. We know that he has a 10-2 in him and we have that talent, but you have to absolutely commit to all of the training, the speed, the strength that it would take to be a 100 runner. Safe to say he's made quite the transition, though, up to the 400 <laughs> as oh, well. Oh, sure. <laughs> you see Jordan Coleman right there in lane five from Granada Hills as the top time at 10.36, seventh at Nike Indoor Nationals in the 200, was seventh overall in this event at the California State Championships last season. It's only ran a season's best 1088. So looking for a breakout performance right here in this invite section. And a bit of a slow start for Coleman, but it's to zero and four. It'll be yes. Damari Desern 1047 matching his lifetime best from Bishop <laughs> Alamini right here in California or the win here in the invitational section. That was a tight win. That was a very tight win. But as you can see, some, yes, he tied his PB, but I'm telling you, a lot of that joy is the fact that I was able to hold off. People were closing. He was in the mist, but some people started to break a little bit, started to fade, but he wanted to stay strong. Uh, for uh, that killer mentality is you cannot break me. You cannot break me. And you can see the joy that he has right here crossing that line first and tying, like you said, a personal best. You gotta be happy about that. Nice bounce back into the wind column, especially finishing, I believe, third at the Arcadia Invitational in this event. He's also had a really good indoor season as well, finishing fourth in the 60 at Nike Indoor Nationals, tying that personal best performance he ran early on in the year at 10.47. Coleman runs the season's best 10.59 to finish third. And then Brandon Arrington Jr. of Mount Miguel rounding out in second in 